Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. And um, so hopefully this video looks good and hopefully the audio looks good. I think that's one thing that I really love about my Google Pixel phones is the fact that I can record video and I can use Bluetooth earbuds as a microphone. So I don't have to be so close to the camera. I can just pretty much just sit here and chill and just pretty much go over what I'm about to talk about in this video. And um, please excuse my neighbors. Just the camera, but anyways, um, so this video took me a while to kind of compile and put together so that we can talk about this in this video. And um, while a lot of you guys know I'm a big fan of Google Pixel phones, um, I also tend to back Google in certain things that they do. I'm not oblivious and blind to the things that Google doesn't do good, and so a while, you know, I've been putting this video together. I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys about it, you know, because recently, um, and it's like the craziest thing ever. A lot of people have really, you know, kind of let me know that they weren't able to get the latest, um, the latest updates on their Google Pixel phones. Sorry, I got a notification there for a second. And, uh, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of disheartening, right? I mean, you're Google. Um, you're, you are the software developers of Android and, um, you make the Google pixel phones and the products that surround it in this new ecosystem that you're putting together. And while, you know, for the most part is good. Um, there's still some things that I think Google needs to work on. Definitely for sure. Um, this, this recent issue with uh, the January security patch, um, you know, there's, there's people who are talking about that, you know, it's uh, it's kind of related to like if you're using T-Mobile service in your Pixel phone, um, there's just been issues where it's been delayed and, you know, this, this is all this weirdness to it. And, you know, while I don't have the insights from Google to basically tell you guys why the, uh, the software security update uh, for January has stopped and why majority of, uh, well, I don't want to say majority because I don't know how many people were able to get the software update and how many people didn't get the software update. But what I do know is that not every Pixel 7 has been updated. Um, for me, my Pixel 7 has been updated. I did get the security, um, the January security patch. And um, no, I'm not experiencing any Bluetooth issues at all whatsoever. Um, I use my earbuds quite a bit. And also using... Um, car audio as you guys will know in the uh, vlog videos i pair my uh, pixel 7 to the car for music or my pixel 6 or my pixel 5 whichever phone that i have um, of the google pixels that's on the latest uh, software update i pair it to the car for music when i do my car vlogs and um so for the most part i can say that you know i guess i'm pretty lucky uh, some will some will put it that way, you know. It's tough when um, you know you're a company and you're trying to you're trying to make it in the business. You are trying to be where um, you know people look at Google and where they should be, and you are failing to a degree in some point. And it's not just the Google Pixel phones. You know, I'm going to be real serious with everybody. It's not just the Google Pixel phones. It's also Google apps and services too as well. Things come, things go. And, you know, it's just, it's really creating this very, very bad uh, image for Google. You know, nothing sucks worse than a lot of people who invested hard-earned money into Google Stadia and Stadia shut down, right? As of, I think, January 19th, Stadia is completely gone. I uploaded a quick short, just basically outlining that you don't have to throw away your, your Stadia controller or, you know, just try to keep it on the shelf as a relic. You can still get usage out of your Stadia controller. They have a um, software update for the, for the controller that um, shuts off Wi-Fi capability and enables Bluetooth capability. So you can Bluetooth your Stadia controller to like any gaming console, laptop, tablet, or even use it as a turning your phone into a portable gaming phone and, you know, just get one of those brackets that sits on the controller that holds your phone as you can just portably game. Um, but still the potential of what Google Stadia, what it could have been, and the fact that, you know, it just, just it just went all downhill. It was just, it was crazy. 
Um, I honestly felt like that Google could have invested more time into it, probably, you know, done other things that could have worked out in favor for Google. But um, that didn't happen that way. Again, my neighbors are just... <laughs> Anyways, um, so to be realistic about things, I honestly feel like that if Google is going to half-ass things, and this is probably going to be an unpopular decision, and while I get, like I said, I'm a big fan of Google Pixel phones and Google products and services, but if Google is always going to half-ass and half-bake things, get out of the game. Just stop. Just focus on Android and put it out there for Samsung and Motorola and all of them to do it. Because what is the point of having your own line of products and, you know, you failing to keep them up to date or you, you know, you failing to, to, uh, to have a reputation of being trustworthy. That That's the biggest key problem with Google is that a lot of people don't trust them. They create a new app, new service, why doesn't anyone really download it these days and try it out? Because they're not going to invest time into something that is going to be eradicated down the road because trust issues. Not enough people using it. Okay, no one likes it. Shut it down. Well, the reason why you're going to have that consistently happening is because the things that you have put out that could have been something amazing that people kind of started to kind of get into, you took it away. Allo. Probably would have been like the best messaging app in the Android space whatsoever. Great. They took the features from that. They put it into Android messages. They did away with Allo. Google Stadia, cloud gaming, amazing, awesome. The game libraries was, was great in my opinion. I love the games that they had for you to buy, download, or get. And you even got free games. Every month they, 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 they handed out free games. And, you know, you can play on your smart TV, switch to your laptop, switch to your tablet, switch to your phone seamlessly without having to have load times of reloading all the game back up. Just pick up exactly where you paused. Great idea. They killed it off. I can name so many um, so many apps and services that Google killed off. It's crazy. And I, that's what always keeps me worried about Google Pixel phones. Like, yes, um, if I can buy them, I'll buy them. Again, the community gifted me the Pixel 7, so shout out to them. They gifted me the Pixel Watch. Again, shout out to the community. But I also get worried at times, you know, that, you know, Google's just going to, like, say, hey, the Pixels aren't taking off. We're done making them, you know, because they're not getting them in, into enough people's hands. You know, the, the biggest thing that Google has going for them, which, you know, people laugh at, is that they have Team Pixel on YouTube. Different content creators that they send phones to every month. And, you know, that's, that's like the, that's like the punchline of the joke on Twitter. When people talk about Google pixels is like, oh yeah, you know, your um, the, the amount of people that, that got your Google pixel phones and they include the fact that there's YouTubers on team pixel that gets thrown in there. That's the punchline to the joke. And, you know, um, so I always get afraid that like Google is going to look at the Google pixel lineup and say, you know, we're just, we're, we're, we're done trying and completely stop. And then what? Then they're going to stop support for the hardware. And yeah, it's these are the things that I think about and things that, you know, honestly, I'd say that I would worry about too. Um, because Google's never really restored faith in the ability for me to trust them as a company to say, hey, you're going to create a, a service, you're going to, you know, bring an app up or anything like that. You're going to, you know, consistently keep it up to date and support it. I don't trust Google to do that. I don't. Um, not that, you know, with the layoffs and everything, where they laid off 12,000 people, like that's a totally different subject that I will talk about later on this week. But just Google as a whole, the Google Pixel phones, the apps and services, those things, Google has kind of failed and they really need to shape up if they want to be able to continue competing against Apple and Samsung. 